cost of sales paid. This is what the business buys and sells in order to generate an income and a profit. We have a document to illustrate the recording of a cost of sales. Now, this document is normally filed on the purchases and payments file. Now we can get rid of this, we push it to the side. Now we drag our document to the bottom right corner. To record this document, these are the steps in the orange box below here. Start by clicking at accounting tab, then cost of sales menu, cost of sales paid button, select the VAT rate, select the cost of sales account, select the paying account, enter the net amount, type narration, document number, date, and month. Now let's proceed to recording. Start by clicking accounting, then proceed to cost of sales paid. Now when this form comes up, we start by narrowing down to the VAT rate on the document. Now according to this document, this is a standard rated transaction at 20%. So we select 20% and we get a few more rows for recording the VAT amount. And now we are ready to proceed. The first requirement now is to identify the expense account, the materials account. So click the drop down. Now, because this is standard rated, we select stock purchases standard. Click tab to identify the account which paid. Now this was paid using the owner's personal cash. So that is capital invested. And we click the drop down, identify the capital added account 258. Click tab. These are not optional. Click tab to get to the amounts box. Now what we require is the amount to be debited to the purchases account. And that is the net amount of 430. Type 430. Click now. As we type the 430, the gross amount of 516 is auto generated, as we can confirm on the document, and the VAT amount of 86 is also auto generated to save time. Click tab to type in the narration. Um, I would be satisfied with materials. So we type ma. Materials. Click tab for the document number, which is document number two. Click tab to get the date. The date on the document is the 1st of November 01 slash 11 slash 15. Click tab and we now require the month. Now, for our demo business, November was the first month. Type 01. Now, when tab is clicked, the quarter is auto-generated, and since we don't intend to change the narrations below here, we click Insert. When Insert is clicked, the data is pasted behind there. So we click OK, and the form disappears. As you can see, we've got our date, we've got the month, the quarter, narration, document number, transaction number, the amounts, and the accounts to be affected. Now, this one says that these three entries will end up in the general ledger. Now, these two values will end up in the VAT ledger. And of course, these nodes help us to identify values that should be entered onto the nodes to the profit and loss account and the balance sheet, both at the period end and at the year end. Now, 430 is debited to account 22. 516 credited to 258, 86 debited to 218, and 430 debited to account 266. Now, what we do next is to update all reports by clicking Ctrl Alt F5. Ctrl Alt F5. When is that? When that is done, we need to confirm whether it's uh, they've actually been posted. Click Periodic Reports, General Ledger. There we are. 430 debited to 22, 86 debited to 218, 516 credited to 258. There's a zero difference in the general ledger. Let's confirm on the trial balance, periodic reports, trial balance, and there we are. Three entries in the general ledger with a zero difference.
and that's about it. So now we can go back to our double entry page to have a final look at what was pasted on this page. That is what was pasted as the transaction, and this is the source document. Now, this source document can be downloaded for practice immediately. It's part of this lesson, and it's also available as part of the PDF you receive for practice purposes with the demo business. So you can go ahead to record that. And with that, we can now end this session. I'll see you on the next task.